If you're a woman struggling with belly fat, this is probably one of the most discouraging thyroid symptoms that I hear time and time again. Sometimes, no matter uh, what you do, how much exercise uh, you do, how clean your diet is, and all the other lifestyle changes that you make, that weight scale just doesn't want to budge, and the belly fat doesn't want to budge either. If this is happening to you, you're battling this belly fat, stay tuned, because in this video series, we're continuing to talk about the reasons why you can't lose weight around the belly, despite these hard efforts and the best intentions when it comes to weight loss. Obviously, what we want to do here is we want to kickstart metabolism. And the goal is to get your thyroid to work with you, not against you. Your thyroid can be one of your best friends or unfortunately, it can be one of your worst enemies when it comes to losing weight in the belly. Now, I've said this in, in other videos and, I'll, and it's worth repeating here. Not all belly fat is created equal. A patient with thyroid disease who develops belly fat is very different than the belly fat of someone who does not have thyroid disease. And this is also why very often when someone with thyroid disease tries to implement the same weight loss strategies as someone who does not have thyroid disease, it doesn't work. Now, a lot of it has to do with how the thyroid hormones influence things that regulate fat and storage and energy, metabolism, and even your appetite. With this in mind, let's talk more about this connection between thyroid problems and belly fat and how to solve them. And specifically in today's video, we want to talk about something known as reverse T3 and its implications in weight gain. Okay, so far we've talked about cortisol levels and blood sugar levels, insulin levels, we've talked about T3 and poor T4 to T3 conversion issues, we've talked about leptin resistance, and now it's time to talk about the role that reverse T3 has in weight gain and belly fat. Now, in order to know a little bit more about this connection of high levels of reverse T3 and weight gain, there's a few things you need to know first. Number one is if you've had, well, I should say if you've ever had a full uh, thyroid workup on, on your thyroid gland, then you know that you probably saw this blood marker known as uh, reverse T3. In many thyroid patients, it's common to see an elevated reverse T3 level. In fact, if you have a normal TSH, but you have your reverse T3 levels, and you have either your T3 or your total T3, you can actually calculate something known as your T3 reverse T3 ratio, which again is much more sensitive marker than just using TSH alone. Now let me explain how reverse T3 fits into this puzzle of thyroid belly fat and why this is important. There are a few scenarios in which reverse T3 is made and uh, basically it can provide great, great insight into metabolic health. What we do know about reverse T3 is that reverse T3 is produced in times of starvation and malnutrition, and it makes complete sense. In order to protect your body from the damaging effects of malnutrition, your body will intentionally and deliberately shut down metabolism and cause a hypothyroid state. Again, in an effort to preserve the body's energy stores. Now, in other words, your body is in such a catabolic state or a state of breakdown that your body is really trying to save itself by elevating your reverse T3 levels, a built-in protective mechanism. Now, another scenario where we, see, we may see elevated reverse T3 levels is in a person that has a high burden of stress, where maybe it's a very low uh, calories, a caloric deficit, or a diet that is very low in carbohydrates, a ketogenic diet, perhaps. Once again, your body perceives this as a stressor and a threat, and so your T4 thyroid hormone uh, gets converted into reverse T3 rather than T3. This again is done deliberately to preserve the body's energy stores. Now, another scenario that we see uh, in those individuals is with insulin resistance. Several weeks ago, I had a woman who was so desperate at trying to lose weight, she went on a doctor-supervised, low-calorie diet, and instead of losing weight, she actually began gaining weight and began showing symptoms of prediabetes. When her blood work came back, her TSH level was elevated, her T3 was, uh, her reverse T3 was 54, her total T3 was 48, her insulin levels were 28, normally around six is where we wanna see them. Because of how long she was restricting her diet, she was becoming malnourished. She was hungry all the time. And so again, her body was trying to conserve energy by shifting hormones around. Unfortunately, this is something that we see very often in women because they're so desperate to lose weight that sometimes they eat very little, thinking that if they don't eat, uh, that they'll lose weight. So if you've done this, then you know that this may work for a very short period of time, but then once again, once your body starts feeling that stress, it's going to shut down your thyroid in, in an effort to obviously save and conserve that energy. And one of the ways it does this is by elevating reverse T3 and causing low T3 levels. Now you may be able to fool the body for a short period of time, but you're mistaken if you think you're gonna fool your body forever. And one thing I highly suggest if you haven't done so in the last six months and you're serious about losing belly fat and optimizing thyroid function is to get a full thyroid panel. Full thyroid panel sheds so much light on what the issue is going on 
in your body are, what's stopping your body from losing that belly. And so if you have any questions about today's video, as always, drop them in the comment section below. I'll do my best uh, to answer those. If you're interested in working with my clinic and having your case evaluated, reach out to me through my website. You can schedule an initial uh, phone consultation. Um, if you haven't downloaded my free thyroid guide, you can do that again by visiting my website, clicking on that free guide section, and then downloading the appropriate guide. And lastly, if you like today's video, after you give it a thumbs up uh, or subscribe to the channel, I recommend that you watch this video next 